good, y'all, man? We got Venom vs. Spider-Man confirmed, man. I ain't gonna lie. I, hey, you know what I'm saying? I went to YouTube, right? YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Your homepage, like, basically, like, recommended type shit. So I linked the whole, like, not the video, but the audio to the post credits. And I don't know if it's true or not. I just look, I just glance a little, a little here a little bit, and it said Peter Park. That's all I heard is Peter Park. You know what I mean? I don't want to, you know, spoil myself, even though we already spoiled ourselves already. With the post credits saying, telling about it's going to be Spider-Man in the bit. For if it is, though, you know, what they did confirm it. I think Cosmo, um, not Cosmo, but um, comic book cast confirmed on his channel. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, because I, cause what is that called? First screening? Somebody, uh, pre, you know, first people seeing the shit or some shit. You know what I mean? A lot of people saw it. Because the movie coming out over two weeks, right? Two weeks? Roughly two weeks? Some shit like that. But, um, yeah, so, yeah, everybody fucking with it, though. I see everybody fucking with it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, you don't have people that probably say, hell, hell, nah, this shit ass. But most people probably fucking with this shit. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, then we got Chucky coming out. Um, then we got Andrew Griffin Link. Proven fate and more. So um yeah, leave a like. So my channel made a lot of news this week. It's like last week a lot of news, man. So hey, we ready for it, no cap. But um yeah, let's get it. Just do it with these skills, man. I just, this, I'm I'm gonna say this. Yeah. Wait, how long? You can do that? Oh, shit. The whole time. Is... Well, I've been, I, I been saying it was, yeah. But, I mean, if that shit is true like that, they got y'all niggas, bro. They got all y'all motherfuckers. They ain't getting me, though, because I was like 50-50, though. I said 80%, but then every time I was like, uh, yeah, 50. I ain't get my ass. But, I mean, if that shit is true with whatever, you know what I'm saying, with this, yeah, this video and shit, but, um, yeah. <laughs> But you, you, you can do that shit. Man, I'm talking about you can't edit videos. <laughs> hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on this video. My name is Chris. We got a lot of nice movie news to talk about here today, so let's just dive into it. So the stuff we're going to be talking about here today is we have updates on more of the Batman spinoffs. We're going to be talking about Venom 2, Let There Be Carnage, because the director finally confirms a crossover with Spider-Man. Not only that, some of the early spoiler-free reactions. I mean, he been said it, but not confirmed, though. No. You know what I mean? He was like, man, I'm, you know, I'm going to try to get them. I'm gonna, not try to get him, but I'm trying to get Spider-Man, you know, from... MC, you know, MCU and type shit. You know, he'm gonna try to get it and bring it over here. Which, is, you know, it happens. So, yeah. So, Ty Holland gonna be in two movies now. You know what I mean? Gonna be Venom movie. Or Venom world and shit. And he gonna, oh, he gonna be in, Venom gonna be in his movie. Whatever that, however that, the boat, ride the boat. You know what I mean? Shit. God damn. But, um, yeah. Reactions to the movie, since people have actually already seen the film. The Chucky TV. Yeah, everybody, yeah. Yeah, yeah, everybody solid film. So if you solid film, man, like you know, don't 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 hit me up, all right? No cap. Don't don't be in my comments too about the movie. I don't want to be spoiled on shit. No cap. The series releases a little behind the scene video and causes some controversy. The Pinhead reboot, and who could forget? Because I'm being messaged endlessly on this discussing about this person who claims. They're the ones who faked the Andrew Garfield video. Not alone with so much more. So many of you guys give me your opinions with everything we discuss here today. As well as don't be forgetting to hit that like button, subscribe if you want more great movie content headed your way. All right, so the first thing I want to dive into here today was announced a few days back, and Deadline came out and reported that the. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I, yeah, I talk about. Um, we all did a video on this shit. You know what I'm talking about? The spinoff and shit. I'm like, bro, just dropped the, 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 the movie already. Damn, all these spinoffs and shit. Batman. <laughs> Starring Robert Pattinson is set to have more spin-off yeah, series, and this one will be centered on the Penguin for HBO Max. This kind of came out of nowhere, but we know that HBO Max and Warner Brothers are working hard to do all these spin-off shows very much like what Marvel and Disney are doing with the basic time be like Disney Plus. I've been said that a couple times, man. These like HBO Max, I'm like Disney Plus down there though. With these, you know, shows and yeah. Kind of like, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. <laughs> They're 
MCU shows. It's crazy how Marvel can just set a trend and then all these other places. That's all I'm saying, though. Now they want to do, eight, you know what I mean? Like, it's similar, it's similar shit to Disney+. Plus. And to all, not even HBO, like any other company. They trying to be like Marvel. It's like, wow, well, these shows, yeah. So... We'll start doing it because we know DC is working on the Peacemaker series that is almost set to come out. And we had already heard of another Batman spin-off series that they were making called Gotham Central that would focus on the first year Batman showed up in Gotham, but all through the perspective of the police. Unfortunately, not much else is known about this other than the fact that Matt Reeves will be one of the producers involved with this, which really, this should finally put to rest a bunch of those rumors we hear every other week that Warner Brothers hates the Batman. Matt Reeves is always fight with Robert Pattinson because if all that was true, they would not be handing this man hundreds of different Batman spin-off shows because he's also involved with the Gotham Central one. They must really love this Batman world if they want to expand it out and create a cinematic universe with it. As far as Colin Farrell, the Penguin, getting this show, it's not the first person I would think of, but I mean, I can't deny how like when we all first saw the trailer, people didn't even recognize Colin Farrell because the Penguin makeup was that good. So these spin-off shows could work in our favor of them being able to tell their origin in this version of Batman, mm. how they came up, how they rose to power. That way we don't have to spend all that much time doing that in the live action movie. And man, if this goes good, just imagine all the future of the Batman villains getting their own series, a Riddler series, a Joker series. Probably the one I would most want to see, a Mr. Freeze mini series where we get his origin very simple. Uh, yeah, I'm really sad. I'm going to be happy in the animated series. I'm down for this. Hope it turns out good, but I'm into your guys' opinions. Are you excited for the Penguin and the Batman to get more spin-off shows? Next up here, we got a couple of details teasing the new upcoming Hellraiser reboot that is set to be coming out next year. Now, just to completely catch it up, if you're a Hellraiser fan, you are going to be living good because you have so much stuff coming your way. Not only are they working on a movie reboot of this, we're also set to get an HBO show of it. Not an HBO Max show, like an HBO show. And David Gordon Green, the director of Halloween 2018 and Halloween Kills is the one who's going to be directing the first mm. pilot of that. But here talking about the movie version, we had Collider do an interview with David S. Goyer and teased a few details about the movie. He went ahead and said, I will say that we went back to the original novella for the source material for really honoring Clive's work, Goyer tells the site. He continues on, I can say that David Berkner is a genius. It's filming right now. The footage is terrifying and amazing, and the Cenobites are jaw-dropping. And of course, the producer would have nothing but nice things to say, but the fact that he specifically mentions the Cenobites in this new movie are jaw-dropping. Ooh, gets me excited because I got my little Cenobite pop here. And I think those are one of the coolest parts of a Hellraiser movie is just those little creepy side dudes that always have the craziest unique <laughs> design. Like, let's yeah, not forget yeah, yeah. the guy who freaking has CDs in his head. Like, that's terrifying. So I'm curious if a lot of those guys are going to be rehashes from what we've seen in the past or are they creating brand new Cenobites for this movie? Also, I just hope I can get into this one because while I enjoy the first two Hellraiser movies, every Hellraiser movie after that was really hard to get into for me. So I'm just hoping this one's watchable, entertaining, and new audiences can experience Hellraiser. What do you guys think about this? Since we're on the hard train, let's go ahead and talk about my boy Chucky with me. Chucky boy. We had here a new little behind the scenes featurette released online that gives us some nice new footage of the TV series that is still set to come out October 12th. I, I cannot be shit. more excited for this thing. I know I recently started my Halloween. Now I'm excited for a second though. I can't, I can't wait for that shit. I said it don't matter when they dropped the trailer. I can't wait for I can't wait for Chucky though. I ain't gonna lie. Chucky gonna be that shit. You know, I ain't watched Chucky for a minute. So they doing a show on that shit. I'm definitely gonna watch that bit. You know, no cap. Review series where I'm going through all the Halloween movies in honor of the release of Halloween Kills. But now, since the TV series coming up, I gotta finally finish all those Chucky movies. And I will be completing my list that I started way back when the reboot was coming out. Where I'll talk about Cult and Curse of Chucky. Got a lot of people asking me about that, so I just wanted to throw that in there. But specifically with this behind-the-scenes feature, not only is it cool to see some new footage of this show, but I really like the things creator Don Mancini is saying here about some of the ideas he had thrown in here. But I ain't see that shit though now. Specific thing that is catching a lot of people's attention that are getting mad for no reason is he does embrace the fact that this series will have gay romance that he thinks is a nice little love story between two boys. We explore. Ah, uh... oh, they trying something different. It, it, ain't, it ain't bad. I know people. I know people gonna comment on that shit. When you talk about that shit, just like we did with Loki, and they was all, they was all on, it was trending. It was like, huh, Loki on the other side, but he, but he, he like both. But this, this right, this scene, whatever scene is gonna be on the episode, this, this is gonna be a trending topic, right? There. I ain't gonna lie, cause you know how people eat it though. 
I don't give a fuck, but yeah, but you know, yeah, no cap, but um, yeah. <laughs> Very sweet teen gay romance that I think people might be surprised at the depth of it, and I think it has a whiff of real life pain. And because of this, it's just gotten so many people to call it woke, like it has an agenda. Oh. Yeah, see, look, I thought, look, I told you I was gonna they gonna say something. I told you Chucky gets woke. I told you I was gonna say something. Woke. It's the, that's what I be saying. When they do that, I mean, it do got an agenda behind it. Like they trying to prove some. When people do this shit, they they trying to prove some shit to the social media. Like, okay, it's, it's you know they based on say it's okay to have two. You know what I mean? Like being blunt. Come on now, it is agenda. Come on now. You know what I mean? It ain't gonna be you feel me? But they just trying to make it more like it's normal. Like, you know what I mean? Like, but that shit, I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Tell you, I really don't give a fuck. They, they can do what they do. They can have two. They can have two guys, two girls, and this shit. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna, I'm gonna still watch this shit. But a lot of people are gonna be like this, like this. You see the see the video I'm talking about this shit. You know on Twitter. So this thing right here gonna be this whole show gonna be on on trending topic. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, cause y'all you know what I'm saying. Y'all know what's going on. I don't give a fuck though. But um, yeah. <laughs> Always hate those comments put on to anything that is made today. Cause really, those comments never make sense to me. They have an agenda. What's the agenda to gay people exist and they have real life problems like us falling in love, going to school and getting bullied? What exactly are they pushing on you other than the fact that they're just trying to tell human stories? And the fact that the creator of the series is gay himself, he says he's taking inspiration from his own childhood. And I don't know about you, but when a writer or creator is putting in past experience into a work, it usually comes out good because they're creating something they have personal experience yeah I'm, I'm hey shit i'm watching so for what for what for what y'all say i'm gonna watch this shit <laughs> okay Sweet. but i know it's one of those things that no matter what i say people have made up their minds on this and will just hate yeah that's what i'm saying like it's, it's their opinion though so you just gotta let it i mean if you want if you want to watch it watch it you know what i mean it's, it's their opinion so yeah can't do nothing about it Nonetheless, this behind the scene feature had still really pumped me up. Just the teases, how oh, I, ooh, I like it already. Right, look at that, look at that, look at Chucky for this badass. <laughs> how old fan pumped me up. Just the teases, how old fans are really gonna appreciate it because they're gonna dive into some of the lore that's been happening in the movies. And I'm really curious to see how that'll tie into the stuff that he's promising that new audiences will be able to enjoy in the show, even if they haven't seen the past movies. But I want to hear from you guys. Are you looking forward to the Chucky TV series? Man, I'm looking forward to that shit. No cap, I'm looking forward to that bit. No okay, cap, man. Let me know what kind of y'all looking forward to, man. I'm looking forward. Y'all already know. Hey, y'all got my, my, my yes. No okay. cap. What did you think of this behind the scene little feature? <laughs> I'll yes. have it linked okay. in the description to the Sci Fi channel. And if you go there, just leave a comment that Chucky Boy sent you. Yeah. All right, before talking about that Andrew Garfield video and whether it's fake or not, let's dive into some of the stuff going on <laughs> with Venom. Let there be carnage. So believe it or not, yesterday, lucky fans. And he brought I'll come every time bad things happen. You seem to be at the center, and maybe I'm lucky in the uk got to see venom let there be i was saying how y'all get the chance to eat with him man screening fans first i ain't want i ain't want know they they had a screen like that should be so private to i ain't gonna lie i mean i don't know how y'all got the fans got it but shit, i don't know maybe y'all gotta go dm them some shit unless y'all get invited I don't know how to, I don't know, you know what I mean? I, I really don't be know what be happening, in, you know what I mean? And the screen is, all I know is coming out October 1st, that's all we know. Shit, but I think I get invited somehow. Because if I was invited, I'd come to that bitch right now, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Carnage during a fan screening. This is a pretty good sign that a studio has faith in a film to let fans see it a month early. These aren't even critics, these are fans. Talk about maybe why that was a mistake though, but we do have some early reactions. And I ain't gonna lie, that's why they that's why they all do critics. That's why they all do business people. Cause see how people they all licking shit already out. They talking about oh Spider Man confirmed it's gonna be on post. That's why they don't let fans in the bit. That we don't let that we don't let y'all people get in the in the thing, cause now y'all licking everything out. <laughs> that's why they all let the business people, the critics that that write the shit, they let them in first. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Cause I saw I look on I look on YouTube like I said I look on YouTube it's already saying post credits link link I'm like audio version I'm like oh shit should I post it for y'all hey when I was, I ain't trying to get right hell nah I mean if somebody posts I you know I I fuck around in a year but um 
Yeah. Reaction. So let me read to y'all what some people are saying about Venom. Let there be carnage. We have here friend of the show Ren, who does have his own YouTube channel. Is a guy I do trust in. He says the biggest strength of Let There Be Carnage is its frantic pacing and exhilarating action, matching the. Oh, well, I love action. I love action. I love movies that have action, 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 action. I don't like all that slow shit. I mean, it can have like little one, two scene of slow shit, but I like that. The action, 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 action. No cap. Kinetic yeah, energy like Tom Hardy has with himself. Woody Harrelson is relishing as Cletus and Carnage and is perfect for the role. Oh my god, stay for the credits. Oh, he said, oh my, stay for the credits. I'm like, god damn. And I already know it's going to be post credits scene because they, they were saying it's going to be something, you know what I mean? So... Y'all watch movies out there October first. Y'all better stay for the credits. Don't leave yet early. Stay for that beat. No cat. But I'm yeah. We have here from Neil Vague saying Venom Let There Be Carnage is a frenzied mix of buddy movie, romance, and horror. It wastes no time getting down to business and not relent. Hardy is on fire and Harrelson is Carnage. Do not miss the, the credits. credits. <laughs> ah, damn. There you kind of get an idea. There was not really any Nah, this shit gonna be five for everybody saying it's gonna be that hard. I mean, I ain't, you know, it's gonna be that action. I love action. You know what I mean? No cat. I I could sure find not. that had something negative to say about Venom, let there be carnage. And all these reactions have sort of similar points made to them. That's good. No negative shit. I mean, you're gonna have probably like one or two, but a lot more positive. That's good, Sony. That's good, Venom. No cap. Them that it is fun. It's exhilarating. The action is great. Woody Harrelson, played by Carnage, is oh my god, fantastic. But really, it's them end credits you need to stay for. And look, I'm just gonna be straight up honest with you guys. You need to be careful when you're browsing the internet from now until the movie's released because since this was a fan screening. And Fact. That's what I was saying, y'all. Look, they they linking shit out for. If y'all go y'all YouTube recommended page for. It's gonna if it's a venom link shit, don't if if you wanna get spoiled then yeah it's you. But I advise you not to you feel them not to do that shit right now. Wait till the wait till October first, wait to wait 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 for the movie come out. You know what I mean? Then watch the shit. But if you if you wanna get spoiled, if you if you know you ain't gonna watch it like that, then you can watch all the links. But it's the links out there already. They links they they are they are they, they already did a post credit scene audio version. Linked out. It's on YouTube. Got 3.1k already, man. They going crazy on that shit. And not a critic screening. Some fans don't understand keeping their mouth shut and not spoiling things on the. That's why I was like, it's a good thing and it's a bad thing. I mean, I know they want to have fans first and let them, but it's like y'all. That's why. That's why they got critics for. <laughs> Cause they don't. They, you know what I mean? Like they keep their mouth shut. Fans, no, they ain't gonna do that shit. They ain't gonna do that shit, man. But, um, but, I mean, it's good they did that, but at the same time, it's like a bad thing, because now they link shit out. Y'all see on YouTube, link shit out, so, yeah, a lot, 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 lot of shit going on, but yeah. So there's already a lot of details about Venom that got leaked out that exact same night when the fan screening happened, even that post credit scene, that, like, a little bit of it got spoiled for me because I was scrolling through Twitter and had no idea about it. I'm not gonna talk about it, I don't wanna ruin it, but man, those credits might change the Venom world for a long long time. Speaking about other things unrelated that might change the Venom world, we have your Andy Circus. go ahead and just point blank admit, yeah, Spider-Man and Venom are gonna meet up. When I oh, you said like that, okay. <laughs> shit, it's like that, okay. Shit, Ask about it. He says, look, that's the question on everyone's lips. They want to know if Venom is gonna meet Spider-Man, but personally, it's never gonna happen. I'm only joking, of course it's going to happen, but I think there's so much. Look, it depends when you want to get there and also what the appetite is. If people want more Venom stories, then to jump straight to Spider-Man, you could be missing out on so many great supervillain characters in between now and then. So in a way, by rushing to it, you might be closing the door. I love at this point, Andy Serkis oh, is yeah. just not denying anymore. And it's like, look, it is going to happen, okay? Sony was about to take Spider-Man out of the MCU. Where do you think he... That's why I was, no, he was trying to do that shit. I think mean, because the, the dude is right here, but they, they didn't do it, though. They, they made another contract, but yeah. 
it was gonna go. And you know what? That excites me because I've just been dying to see Venom with Spider-Man and then fight alongside. I know people get confused because it's like, wait, isn't Venom like a good guy in his movies? I wouldn't really say he is. I think a lot of the times Venom is just the lesser evil in his movies who is ready to be swayed one way or another and could easily become an adversary for Spider-Man. How are you guys feeling on these comments and some of the reactions to Venom 2? And okay, just talking about it real quick, you might have seen already that there is somebody going ahead and claiming they're the ones No, you know what I'm saying? Look at, like, look at that shit, for Like, if you do all that shit, for you, you can do a lot of shit, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I ain't gonna lie, you can put my, my face in that bit. And I'll be I, I'll be Spider-Man, I'll be like, that's... Hey, I about to say, that's the power of editing right there. The power of editing. <laughs> and, you know what I'm saying, whoa. Garfield video and posted it on YouTube talking about how they troll the internet and you know what when I first saw this pop up I was actually relieved I was like all right so Andrew wasn't lying this is Photoshop yeah but I've been saying like I was saying my video I was like yeah you might but then I was like um I was say like, man this shit might be fake you know what I mean on the video too but then I was like bro but I about to say it would be funny as hell you don't see both of them I'm just saying though but uh, you, you, I'm just trying to know, you know what I mean? Like, uh, let me take a look at this video. That way I can bring it up to you guys and let you know we were duped. But when you watch the actual video, this guy, unfortunately, is lying. He did nothing but reverse engineer the original video that is already out there by cutting it up and moving it around in editing software. You can tell that by the way he used the puppet tool on the body from the video. Because if he did steal this photo from somewhere online and photoshopped it into a video, where is that exact photo of Spider-Man in that position? Mm. Because any other position than the one he's in in the video looks odd. And some people think that's me being desperate or wanting not to be proven wrong. Guys, I've been proven wrong several times before and i'm always willing to admit it like when it came to the leaked andrew video i first thought it was fake until more information started coming out so if you see this video being passed around of someone claiming they're the ones who created it you can let them know that they're lying about that and they're not actually the creators of the video it's just kind of yeah. getting exhausting with all the spider-man talk but i'm into your guys opinions on this is this secretly sony just marketing the movie to us geeks by having us go through all this stuff but that is all movie news we currently have going on right now guys i want to thank you so much for taking time to watch this video don't forget to be leaving all your opinions down below and going to my YouTube channel to see all the other movie videos I have for you. I appreciate your faces. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at 3C Films or on TikTok at 3C Films. But as always, I'm Chris. Take care. But, um, yeah, though, man. Let me act. But, um, yeah, though. Let me know y'all think that shit fake or real, man. Let me know in the comment down below. But, um, yeah, man, we got this, um, see Venom and Spider-Man, so yes, they're gonna be in that bit, but they ain't gonna rush it to the point like we're gonna jump in right on that bitch, but they're gonna have it, though. And then we got Chucky, man, I can't wait to see that, man, Andrew Griffin, I don't, you know what I mean, I said, I said that shit might be fake, though, you know what I mean, I wasn't, like, aiming toward, you know what I mean, I was like, oh, this shit, you know, that's that shit be fake, <laughs> you know what I mean, but, um, yeah, though, baby, hey, let me know in the comment below, man, I'm out, and I'm yeah, right. peace.